please give a royal welcome to our maestro of musical madness, Sir Samuel of Morocco. And now, good gentles all, please welcome those loquacious lovers of legends and law. Those versatile viscounts of voluminous verbosity as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Spife and Mr. Jones. Welcome to the theatre, the famous royal theatre, and while we're in the theatre, I say let's do a play. Our imagination, as well as good enunciation, together we will be creating a creation that will take your breath away. Oh, but of course, 
Dante, please! Oh, what's that? That is a theatrical representation of your hair. Oh, I love the theater! A pencil! I wait to eat, Mommy Mother. Oh, did he leave upon the Lord her hair? As the Mama Gothel pitifully ascend the steep tower. Noted by all in attendance that Mother Gothel was not Rapunzel's real mother. That's right. I was kidnapped by Mother Gothel when I was just a baby. And why was Rapunzel kidnapped? Oh! Mr. Jones! Because of her magic hair. Yes, but keeps Mother Gothel the fairest of them all. And I, I, Rapunzel. Oh! Ah, princess. Rapunzel, Mummy's feeling a bit run down. Why don't you let me brush your hair while Mr. Spine sings your magic song? Flower, gleam, and glow. Whenever I sing the magic song, my hair begins to shiver and glow. And when you glow, you get Mother Gothel young. Bring special healing powers. As Gothel brushed the enchanted hair, the years melted away. Like sands in the hourglass, thus in the days of our lives. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Oh, ah, princess. Thank you, my dear. Now get me my mirror. Go. Oh. Do you know what I see? I see a strong, confident, beautiful young lady. Oh, look, you're here, too. <laughs> Realizing this might be the last opportunity, Rapunzel summoned up the courage to ask. Mother, I was wondering, I mean, since it's my birthday tomorrow, would you please take me to see the floating lanterns? It's my only birthday wish. Absolutely not, Rapunzel. Oh, uh, uh, Samuel, yeah. hmm. Barbara gave me glow, let your power shine. Here's the clocky purse, but not Rapunzel's mind. I told you, my dear, the world's a dangerous place filled with ruffians and thugs, and that's why I keep you locked up in this beautiful tower. Oh, I'm sorry. Seriously, Sam. Uh, flower glow, power shine, clock reverse, by my mind. For your own safety, my dear, you will never, ever, ever, ever leave this tower. Ever! Oh. Trust me, Rapunzel. Mother knows best. <laughs> Rapunzel was determined to see the floating lanterns, so she did what any imprisoned 18-year-old girl would do. She packed up a frying pan and headed for the window. Looking down, Rapunzel spotted a young man climbing up the tower. A stranger! Hey, now he helped himself up into her tower. <laughs> a hearty huzzah for Flynn Rider! Huzzah! <laughs> Rapunzel did what any imprisoned 18-year-old girl who just knocked out a climbing stranger would do. After that, she went through his belongings, found a royal crown, and hid it. Now surely I can convince him to take me to see the floating lanterns. I'm not going to know that the crown was stolen. Flynn was a wanted man. <clears throat> Look, Blondie, there is no way I will ever, 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 ever take you to see the floating... Okay, okay. I will take you to see the floating lanterns. Anything to get that crown back. And so Rapunzel let down her hair. <laughs> and down the tower they climbed. Okay. This isn't weird. <laughs> Climbing down hair. As they scaled down the stone wall, the stranger introduced himself as... Flynn. Flynn Rider. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and before Rapunzel could say... Holy hairbrush, Flynn! There came around the ground and they were off and running on their new adventure. I can't believe I did this! This is so fun! <laughs> Here we are, Flynn. I just hope you don't run into any ruffians or thugs. Hoping to end this adventure as quickly as possible. And avoid being arrested by the royal guards, Flynn said. Hey, are you hungry? Because I know a great place for lunch. And thus he led the way to the Snuggly Duckly Tavern! <laughs> Which, as it turns out, was filled with ruffians and thugs. <laughs> Hello! Oh, wow! Well, you look at this bunch. This is a mean looking bunch of ruffians and thugs. Look at that one! Never trust anybody with a mustache. Especially a milk mustache. And don't let this little one with the ears here fool you. I think I've seen them on the kingdom's most wanted list. You know, Blondie, I think things would be a whole lot safer if we just turned around and got you back home. What do you say, huh? 
Let's go back to your tower and I'll get my crown, okay? Excuse me. Are you Flynn Rider? Do I look like Flynn Rider? Who do you think? Does she look like Flynn Rider? Fair enough. Yeah. Eugene Fitzherbert. So, <laughs> might as well know. Well, I have magic hair that glows when I sing. What? I have magic hair that glows when I sing! Puzzle's <laughs> hair illuminated the water with its magic light and went them out of the cave! Definitely in a boat. We don't have a boat. But it was 
so romantic. You can't leave that part out. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what is that? It's a theatrical representation of our book. Oh, I love the theater. Sir Samuel? Okay. Every year on this day, the king and the queen release the lanterns in honor of their lost daughter. They're so beautiful. As the sky filled with the lantern's warm glow, I realized... I was falling in love. Light came new life and new love! Huzzah! Huzzah! 